Well, the Step IR DB36 arrived, and uh, I've put one day's worth of work assembly. So down here is the reflector end. This is the reflector return down here, and the uh, reflector motor unit will be over here. Then we have the driven element return tube the driven element over here and then uh, the six meter passive element will go over here the 20 meter uh, 20 through 6 meter uh, motor unit right over here and then another 6 meter director passive element this is the director number two return and then the motor unit for director number two will be up over here 36 foot long it's uh once i do a little more assembly i'll lift over the fence and carry it over to the back lot and work on it back there here it's just a lot more convenient because it's next to my garage and i can get to my tools and everything and speaking of tools and everything here's some of the parts and the tubing these right here go into the uh, driven element and then everything else uh, fits inside of the um, fiberglass tubes this is uh, the PVC that the um, brilliant copper tape uh, slides through through the elements so print out my manual oh make sure you don't I mean they, they include uh, step air includes some NECs but this is definitely way better this jet lube SS30 copper NECs is way way better and it, it looks cool too um, these are the plates for the motor units and then of course what's remaining of hardware and then uh, sweep tubes and mass clamp and various hardware down here I did order the double truss support and that's what that bag is over there these are the element supports over here are the uh, EHUs or the motor units and then uh, have uh, various uh, Dacron rope and Philly strand for guying and uh, 200 feet of 24 conductor cable this is more parts for the 75 meter uh, dipole option that's the 75 meter dipole option and then 42 of these heat shrink tubing that's used on heat shrink the uh, various sections of the fiberglass elements. Anyways, it's pretty good progress for day one. Um, uh, a lot of it is just very time consuming work, like uh, going through and checking off, um, you know, inventory of all the parts. I did find I was missing a part. Um, here are the boxes with all the fiberglass tubes in them. This is the um, 48 inch vertical support for the for the uh, truss, but I ordered the double truss, which should have a T-bar. This is the double truss support, or I mean um, kit, and I'm missing the uh, tube there's a 36 inch tube that goes sideways um, and then the Philly strand wire comes off uh, more for more lateral support so I'm missing that tube not a big deal I'll send them an email on Monday and maybe give them a call and see if they'll send one out to me so far I've not found anything else missing actually this is like extra hardware down here they, they provide extra bolts, extra hardware for just about everything. One, something I'm not going to use though, I'm not going to use these 
um, zinc plated um, wire clips and also these galvanized or zinc plated uh, wire thimbles. I have stainless steel, uh, 316, 316 stainless steel parts on order from Amazon. I'm going to replace um, the 316 wire clips um, and uh, thimbles with 316 grade, not 304 grade, but 316 grade um, stainless steel. Um, just to give it the best life possible. Anyways, there we go. It's uh, day one's worth of work.